Hello again. So I'm going to do another Chrome video here. Um, this one's going to be uh, two things. Uh, first part's going to be uh, creating your own context menu for Chrome. Uh, there's, you know, built-in hotkeys for Chrome to perform different actions, go to different places, but it can be hard to remember, you know, all of them, your favorite ones, and maybe you just want to visually be able to see them versus that. Also, got my green screen up and running, still working a little bit on the lighting, as you see my face kind of blinks in and out for some orange tint for some reason. But yeah, let's, let's take a look at that code. So I'm going to just show you real quick uh, what a context menu is. I'm just going to use the tilde as my hotkey, and that's just going to give me this little menu here that I created myself. And a submenu is this little one right here, just in case you want more options. Especially if your menu starts to get like really long, you might not want that. So right off the bat, I got my tilde hotkey up here. Obviously, that can be whatever you want. If you want it to be F1, you know, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if when activate, age class, or underscore class, uh, Chrome, because this is designed for Chrome, so I don't really need it accidentally popping up in, you know, a game or, you know, whatever else I'm in. So right off the bat, I'm going to create my menu items here. So I got menu, my menu, and this can be named whatever you want to call it. It could be menu one, menu two, uh, add, and then one new window, and then the handler, which basically is uh, when I click on this menu item, go perform this action of whatever I have down there. So you might notice in front of my names here, the titles for each one, I put either like a number or a letter on the keyboard. The reason behind that is because um, instead of having to move my mouse after I hit the tilde key and scroll down to close Chrome, I can just hit tilde and then five and it'll automatically snap and press that for me instead of having to move my mouse. So that just you don't have to put these there, but it can make you uh, a lot faster at navigating your menus and whatnot. And then can be either numbers or just letters. doesn't really matter. I uh, can't really put function keys. Like, I couldn't put F1 here. Uh, that would just be triggered by me pushing F instead of F1 because it's just going by whatever the first letter or number is there. Uh, and then my submenu I got here at the top, which is, uh, you know, down here it's where it's calling it. Uh, the difference here, instead of a handler, you're putting the name of the menu, which, once again, can be whatever you want. Just make sure you put these two little dots there for yourself. And that's basically saying, you know, look at the other menu with that name in it. And then the last thing you're going to throw there is just menu, my menu, and show. And that's just saying, okay, you've loaded all this information on the previous lines. Now display them for me. And I obviously got a return down there. You know, if this if doesn't hit, it's just going to jump straight down to the, the return, meaning I'm not in Chrome. So don't display this stuff. I don't need it yet. So these I'll run through pretty fast. Uh, they're pretty simple stuff. You know, you got item one. That's just going to send, you know, make sure I'm still active in the Chrome window for whatever reason. Uh, send uh, control in, which is the hotkey in Chrome for new window. Uh, control T, uh, Alt Home. So basically, you can Google these, find out what the hotkey is for everything, and run it from there and change these to whatever you want it to be. So I'll just kind of show you a few of those real quick in action. So, uh, you know, new window just opens a new window. I go to my uh, downloads page. Once again, I don't have to do that. I can actually move my mouse over here and push Q for that one. And that's just going to take me there to that. So yeah, pretty simple. You know, just a custom menu in Chrome uh, to perform uh, hotkeys. Like I said, you know, it's it's hard to sometimes remember what the different things are. Like downloads, I never remember what the hotkeys are for that. But now I can visually see it and just click there. First half and be like, okay, where where is that again? I think it's under, you know, here, downloads. You know, it's just a faster way. Now on to the thing that I think people are going to really be more interested in. And I've done some previous videos on how to automate uh, Chrome with AutoHotKeys. 
Uh, I did a video with using an extension to basically listen and then do some JavaScript to perform actions that normally you couldn't do with AutoHotKeys. This is the same thing that I did in that video, but in a little bit of a different way without an extension. Uh, the reason I used an extension in my other video is, you know, at my job we can't download uh, or we can't go into developer mode or anything like that, so we're forced to use that extension. But if you don't need the extension, you're able to go into debug mode, do inspection, all that kind of stuff. This might be another way for you to do it. So I broke this up into two pieces. Uh, the first piece, I'm going to press F2. It's going to set title match mode to 2 just to make my life a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to activate Chrome, focus on Chrome. Uh, just a small sleep, give you know Chrome some time to make sure it's loading. You might have to play with these sleeps. Uh, some of the sleeps I kind of made a little bit longer than usual just to help you guys visually see it a little bit better. Uh, it's going to send F2, which opens the uh, console for me. It's going to send Control-P, which is going to focus up there. And I probably should do this step by step. So it's going to press F12. It's going to push, uh, what was it, Control P, which focus up here. It's then going to send the word undock. And undock is just going to make sure that it is separate like it is now. It's not actually in Chrome. It's in there by itself. It's going to press Enter to, you know, do it. And then I have this commented out right here, but... We're going to do win set trans, uh, transparent to zero developer tools. And that's going to make this window invisible because we don't need to see this actually anymore. Um, so why not just have it like hidden? Uh, it'll still display on your toolbar at the bottom, but you won't see the window. Um, you can get rid of this if you want. I like to use it, but I do have it commented out just because... I want you guys to be able to visually see a little better. Uh, it's then going to win activate, send uh, control uh, tilde, and all that does is focus back down here where the text actually will go. So let's go ahead and do that. Probably be a little fast, but I'm going to go ahead and push F2. See it for a second. It's going to undock it, which it already is. And... Oh yeah, I don't have it doing the focus thing, um, so or invisible, so you can still see it. All right. So now that we have that open, we're ready to go to the second step. So here, I'm going to push F3. Uh, when activate uh, Facebook, obviously you can change this to, you know, any page you want, or if you just want it to be when activate Chrome. Um, but I'm just going to focus on Facebook only. You know, let's say I run this command and I'm not on Facebook, I don't want it trying to do something that's not supposed to. So I'm being a little specific here. Uh, send F12, which is going to refocus on that invisible developer tools uh, window. So you won't actually see it, but you will be temporarily focused on it. And I do not need this line of code. So the next thing is uh, I'm going to assign to the variable clipboard my JavaScript. So it's nothing too complicated. Uh, I'm just doing a focus here. Uh, I have a set timeout function. That way it gives it a second to snap back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, so set timeout function, uh, you know, a bunch of brackets. Obviously, I'll have this code in the description below for you to, uh, you know, see a little better. Uh, document. Uh, here you might have to play around a little bit. Uh, if it's a pretty simple site like Facebook's uh, sign-in page, this should do it. Uh, there are pages out there where you might need to add iframes to it. You might need to add a parent dot document. You're really going to have to play with it. Honestly, this is probably one of the most annoying things that I run into JavaScript and just playing around until it actually focuses on the correct area. But I use Facebook because it's pretty simple. Uh, just document dot get element by ID. Uh, here's where you're going to change your ID. So for Facebook, it's just email. And we're just going to focus. That means move my cursor there. And then the timeout that we saw here at the beginning, 
I just have it going for a thousand seconds. Let me move my head there. <laughs> you can change that to whatever you want. Once again, play around with it. So now that that's in the clipboard and we're focused back on this window, it's going to send Control V. So it's going to paste that code, that JavaScript code here. It's going to press Enter, which is going to run it. But as we remember, it's going to wait one second before it runs. That way, the Win Activate has a second to face back uh, to Facebook. Sleep 2000, obviously this can be a lot lower. And then, now that we're focused on that field, send test at email.com. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm going to push F3. You'll probably see that window pop up real quick, but it won't last too long. Yeah, it was a nice little flash. It focused, and then it sent that message into there. You can obviously do this for other stuff, clicking on... Um, you know, like the login button, just put the ID there for the focus. Uh, and instead of sending like actual text, send uh, like an enter instead. So you can do that. And that'll focus onto, you know, a button or anything like that. Uh, if you guys have any questions about any of this stuff, definitely let me know. Uh, I know HK to Chrome has been kind of a really big thing people are always asking about. So. Uh, let me know what you guys are really looking for. Uh, I've only ever really done AHK in Chrome with doing stuff like auto-filling out forms or automatically clicking buttons for me. Uh, it's about the extent of what I've done, but I definitely can help out with anything more that you guys might be curious in. So yeah, please let me know. Please hit that subscribe. It always helps me out to see what you guys are really uh, looking at and what I should be doing in the future. And Alright guys, have a great one.